If you're an administrator of Microsoft Teams, I can pretty much guarantee you've been messaged by someone saying, hey, can I have access to this feature? You look it up and it's on a preview that your organization can't get your hands on. Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you our new public preview feature where you can get some of your users to opt in. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Harry Louds. I'm a technology strategist for Microsoft. And the goal here is to really help you learn technology and hopefully show you something that's going to help you and your organization. So let's not spend too much time talking, but I really want to show you how to get in get set up with the public preview feature that's just released with Microsoft. We're going to look at it from the admin console side, and then we're going to look at the end user experience. This is nice and simple, so let's get started. All right, so let's look at the admin side of the house. I'm here in the Microsoft Teams admin center, and all we've got to do is go Teams and then Update Policies. And this is how it works. We need an update policy and we just say, look, these users can see preview and pre-release features. However, once we give them the policy, that doesn't mean it's just going to enable it for them. They then have to go into their team's client and opt in to these public preview features. So just bear that in mind, there's two steps, the admin side, and then the user has to physically opt in themselves. So you could, for example, just go to global, and then say show preview features and just turn it on. And then everyone would have the ability to opt in. In my case, however, I'm gonna to go to add to add a custom policy. And then from there, I'm gonna have a Teams pilot users and then do show preview features to on. And here we're just saying, look, I just wanna select a few users that have the ability to see and opt in to these preview features. So I'm gonna now select that policy and then choose manage users and then just add myself, for example, and then just choose add and apply. And now I'm able to opt in to preview features. The other way of doing it is you could just go to users and then choose, for example, I'll just go to Alex here and then go to policies and then on assign policies, you just go to go to edit. And then from update policies, I can assign now Alex to Teams pilot users and then click apply. And that's it. Now Alex or Harry, in this case, could go to their team's client and opt in to public preview. And we'll go look at that in a moment. The last thing I want to mention is that right now, there's no way for an admin or the users to decide what features they get enabled for them. Once they opt in to public preview, they're going to get all the preview features. It's an all in kind of setting here. So just bear that in mind as you go through this. All right, so let's take a look at the end user experience. And this is pretty easy to get going. So to opt in to the public preview, all you've got to do is just hit your profile picture and then go to about and then choose public preview. And then from here, it's going to give you just a pain saying, what does it mean to be part of the public preview? So you know, really, all these preview features are provided as is. They are excluded from the service level agreements and there's a limited warranty. So these are meant for preview and for you to be able to give feedback back to Microsoft. These aren't for general availability, so to speak. So once you're ready, all you need to do is just do switch to public preview. And now it's going to go ahead and just restart Microsoft Teams. And then once Microsoft Teams is restarted, you're pretty much ready to rumble. And you can see here, if you went back to your profile picture and about, you've now got a few tick boxes for developer preview, public preview. If you uncheck any of these, you'll now opt out of being part of the public preview, just in case you need to. Lastly, if you do need to give feedback uh, for any of these features, all you need to do is just go down to help. And then from help, just choose give feedback. And then you can just submit your feedback here. The last thing I want to show, because I had a few questions on this, is, well, how do you even see what's coming up? Well, Microsoft has a document for this where you can see what's happening. For example, in this case, I'm looking at the current channel preview. Um, you can see here on the left-hand side, we've got the release notes for current channel. And we can see in December, there's a whole bunch of things coming out. You know, Windows native notifications, Teams 2x2 gallery view for Citrix and VMware, and so on and so forth. And you know, these are the documents that are going to be continually updated so you know what's happening in Microsoft Teams. I'll put a link to this in description, but that's really all I want to show, how you can get going with getting your employees and users ready with public preview so they can test out some of the awesome new features coming into Microsoft Teams. So make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video.